Secure by Stefan Don. Stephanie Victoria Allen was born in Birmingham, England to Jamaican parents. Her family moved to the Netherlands at four, but she came back to Britain to study at a London school. She worked as a cake decorator and hairdresser before getting into music. She arrived in 2015 doing a cover song, which led to features by UK artists as well as Jeremiah and Little Yachty. In 2017, Universal Music Group created a label, 54 London, just to sign her. She was the only woman featured on the 2018 XXL freshman cover. Secure Steph Don's second mixtape. How do we feel about it? Steph Don. Just want to uh, clarify something because I didn't feel like changing it in a text when she did the bio. Uh, they, when I say they created the label for her, like they literally created it for her. Like mm-hmm. around her, basically? Nah, like she runs it. Oh, okay. Like they created it and they're like, look here, you, you're the CEO. You sign a, you find an artist, you sign an artist. No. And they were trying to sign her for a full year before she actually gave in. But the album artwork is pretty much identical. I'll, I'll put it side by side comparison up. It's basically identical to the uh, Little Kim, the Notorious K.I.M. album cover. She was paying homage to that. Uh, I really like it. It looks really nice. It looks pretty much identical. The only thing that's different is obviously they look different from mm-hmm. each other, right, and then right. the hair color is slightly off. Mm-hmm. But the jury is even on point. Like Kim has a cross on; mm-hmm. she has rings on the same finger. She has rings on. I think Kim just doesn't have a watch; just all bracelets. Okay. Everything else was pretty on point, and I thought that was pretty dope. I like the album cover a lot. Yeah, it stands out a lot. Um, it's immediately familiar, but at the same time, kind of makes a statement about herself as well. Yeah. So I appreciated it. Yeah, it definitely goes with the the album too. After I listened to it, I was like, "Yeah, you're a gangster bitch." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As far other than that, though, the album cover looks great, right? So how y'all feel about the music, the flow of this project? How was you feeling? I loved it. Like she started off with craziness on uh, the first song. And I wasn't really, I was, I was thinking she was more reggae. I didn't think she was going to come with the whole rap thing. I was, I was surprised, but I loved it. She's dope. Yeah, I thought the flow of the album was actually pretty good. Uh, well, actually really good because she's transitioning between grime music. And I'm not the hugest grime fan, but I think right. she actually does it pretty well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So grime and then I got kind of like tra- traditional hip hop sound. Mm-hmm. I got some, you know, reggae sound. I mm-hmm. got some like dance hall even some south like you know some afro mm-hmm. funk sound mm-hmm. like she she was really going like a wave and yeah. it's like a mixtape so it's really like a, a whole bunch of random flows and different sounds she got but yeah even though it's random but it all flowed well together and came yeah. together really well and like you just told me it was a mixtape today so i was just like yo i thought this was an album because it actually sounded like well put together well constructed clean you know, not to say like mixtapes are supposed to sound bad or anything like that, but it just sounds really fluent. Mm-hmm. Everything sounds like it was supposed to be like, you know, like the track listing. I think the track listing was well thought out because, you know, usually track listings be like, oh, this song's over there, song over there, but it flowed really well yeah. track after track. How did you feel about the highlights? What's your highlights of this project? Um, I love Pretty Girl. That's my song. You and saw the video? Yes, I did. I love it. It was so cute. And I love Uber, and I, I like the free dip Tony Montana song. That and was that was hilarious. That right? was hilarious. <laughs> Tony Montana and person and Hannah, Hannah Mon- Montana. Hannah Montana yeah. and person. Yeah. yeah, Tony Montana on the keyboard and Hannah Montana in person. Yeah. I was just like, man, that's funny. Yeah, uh, as far as me, I got a lot of highlights on this joint. So like, little bitch came on. There was one thing that she did that I didn't like, and she did it a couple times on the project, but I, I'll get to that on the things I didn't like. But okay. Little Bitch came on, and I was just like, oh, okay. But Jellio came on. I was just like, yo, this vibe is dope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, finesse, she changed the beat up. That was dope. I Do you actually wish that liked... could be longer? Finesse? Yeah, yeah. I wish it was longer. I I, it was I, and the funny thing is I thought the song was called Secure. Oh, oh for it. real! Yeah. <laughs> I just found out today it was called Finesse. Okay. Like every time I, cause you know the song, yeah, the, the, the hook, secure, 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 yeah. secure the yeah. bag. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, but uh, I actually like what you want with future. I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, I he did, did too. a good yes. job on that. Yeah. Future got like he's he's hit or miss. He was perfect and, right there. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> and, and the mic that you sound is so great because you can hear all the detail on her voice cracking yeah. and everything mm-hmm. while she's singing. Right. Uh, Pretty girl was really dope. Uber was really dope. Both ways with Fiki was really dope. Favorite girl with Haley 
Lee is dope. I like Hurting Me, the remix, better than the one with French Montana. Yeah. Uh, senseless, regular, win. Like, yo, I got a lot of highlights. <laughs> right? Just to put it, you know, simple. Well, if I was only able to pick a couple, it would be both ways. Uh, Precious Heavy, I really love what she did with that. And Crunch Time, I thought she just went off. I, I love what she did with Crunch Time. So, mm-hmm. All, I love almost everything on here, but those three really stuck out to me and hurt me if you told me there was original, but that remix is great. Yeah. yeah. Low lights, man. I'll go, like, I got one low light. Okay. I just didn't like a couple of times when she would rhyme and she would say a rhyme and then the next word went wrong with it. <laughs> like oh. when she said, you know, like, I, sh- I know she did at one point where she was like, don't think because I'm light, I can't be dark. Yeah. But don't get me wrong, the next word rhyme with dark. But then there were a couple times where she just said a random word that didn't rhyme with anything. It kind of mm. still flowed, though. Like, I, I mean, get what you no, mean, but yeah, yeah. I mean, but no matter what, though, like, she's only been rapping since 2015. Wow. Mm. So this is three years. She's going to do nothing but get better. Get yeah. better, yeah. yeah. And then, like, other than that, like, that's, like, me nitpicking. Yeah. Because even on all the songs she did it on, all of those songs are fucking dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't really have many lowlights. I didn't like the interlude. I feel like she could have kept that out. I, I just, liked I, it. I didn't I like it. it. I liked I, it. Because it was so it? real. He was, was just like, it it's not like true. A little kid. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the the British Jamaican accent yeah. just puts it over for me. Because like that combination of accents sounds so dope to me. Mm. I just love the meaning. Because he was just like, you know, I work for this. You can't take what's mine. You know, I work for this. So I, I really love that. But uh, low lights for me. Uh, I mean, I could say only like sometime like on uh, track two and three, like there were some things with her voice that I really didn't like what they did. I don't know if it was her or just the mixing, but it kind of like I kind of got more comfortable with it as a mixtape went on. But other than that, there really, really wasn't much that I could complain about on here. Like everything really sounded really good. Yeah, man, my final thoughts, man. Normally I get upset when it's too many tracks, but I felt like since she's so versatile, the 16 tracks was necessary because I feel like you almost get like four songs of each vibe, Mm -hmm. but I really like her in that like Caribbean Afro Afro vibe. Like she kills, she destroys that. Like every one of those songs, like I was just really vibing to feeling like I'm supposed to be on the damn beach <laughs> with a drink in my hand because it's like, it just yeah. feels so good. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're right. And then when she wanted to flip it to the rap and she sounded good, when she wanted to sing, she sounded good. Yeah. So it's just like, and she, when she wanted to do, do, do the grime, yeah. she sounded good. So yeah, that, that joint is crazy. Yeah, man. I love how versatile she was. It was just, I had like three albums in one. She did the reggae, the rap. I love it. And you was dancing when you was listening? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's definitely fluent with it because it's just like, even when she was singing, like, I had to look at the track list and I'm like, is that somebody else singing? But no, it was all her. So. I mean, she said her sister and her mom sing better than her, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, she does a really good job. Yeah. I think, you know, for her and what the project she put together, it was really good. Final grade? Give it a check. Check. Check it out. I mean... You know, I was telling you after we watched the reaction, or I mean, uh, the freestyle for the XSL, I was like, okay, she's all right. But after listening to this, definitely should check her out for it. Yeah. I was surprised. I didn't think it was going to be that good, but I'm glad I listened. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a check for me. Absolutely. Uh, this album is, this mixtape yeah. is really good. <laughs> I mean, it, this this just listen to it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's real. really good. Like I, I didn't really expect that good of a music. Like I was just like, man, it'd be a couple of good songs on yeah. here. But compared, like even like you know, we said she had the best freestyle with the group she was freestyling yeah, with yeah. for the double XL freestyle. But this is this is better than that. She was holding back, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and then like even her older stuff is dope. Like sixteen shots. She has a song called Sixteen Shots with okay. Skepta. That joint is crazy. Hmm. Like she's she's got some joints, man. And she's she's been killing it for a minute. So shout out shout out to Stephanie. Yeah, she's a beast. Dope. 